kitchen. Uh, first things first, yes, I have the same outfit on. If you watched our previous video of the chicken with mashed potatoes and green beans, and that's okay. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, today we're cooking spaghetti carbonara, and I have never cooked this before, ever. Uh, the main reason and the only reason I've never cooked it is because it uses raw eggs, and I'm terrified of cooking with raw eggs. And I went to the store, looked at the price of pasteurized eggs because then you don't have to worry about salmonella or anything like that. And the eggs were, oh, pretty pricey. <laughs> so I am going to use raw eggs today and experiment. I decided that there's probably at least a thousand people in the world eating carbonara every night and they're not dying. So chances are we'll be okay. First thing we're doing is Oh, and just by the way, this meal is $6 for a family of four, probably with a couple of leftovers. The thing that you want to do is you want to prepare your sauce. You want to get your water boiling first. The sauce will not take that long to cook. You want to cook the sauce while the pasta is cooking so that when it's done, the sauce is immediately going into hot noodles. That is going to help cook the egg and keep you from dying. So that's very important. That's almost ready to put the pasta in. I buy whatever pasta is on sale. This happened to be a dollar. So it's a good brand. Put that in in a second. I have some bacon here. You can use pancetta or bacon. Bacon was on sale. That's what we went with. Uh, thinly slice it. Mine is kind of stuck together because I didn't slice it as thin as I should have. What we're going to do while the pasta is cooking is we're going to cook the bacon first in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Go ahead and get this poured out. I've had a lot of coffee this morning. My hands are shaking. I'm over caffeinated. And I already shredded up my cheese. And let me just mention that this is a recipe I found in one of my cookbooks. It's actually a, a Tyler Florence recipe. And the only thing I changed was I ended up getting Romano cheese because it was on sale. He uh, recommends using Parmesan, Parmigiano, I can never remember how to pronounce that, Parmigiano Reg Reggiano. <laughs> so anyway, I got the Romano. It's easier to pronounce. <laughs> so I have that shredded. I have some parsley chopped, fresh garlic chopped. We've got our eggs, salt, pepper. Our water's boiling, so I'm going to add my spaghetti. Oh, I broke it a little bit. Sometimes I do that. This is a pound. When pasta is on sale for a dollar, and it seems like at least once a year, at once a year, <laughs> once a year pasta goes on sale. It seems like once a week pasta is on sale for a dollar at some grocery store. So I, I normally pick up four or five boxes every every week. I could eat pasta every night. Okay, I'm going to set the timer. The pasta is going to cook for about eight minutes. We're heating up the olive oil over medium and add the bacon. You know, another difference uh, on this recipe, I, I found a lot of recipes for carbonara that were different. Uh, some of them use white wine. Some of them use heavy cream. There's no heavy cream. There's no white wine. Another thing I like about Tyler Florence recipes is that they are simple. You can just taste the food. It's not covered up with a, a ton of other ingredients. We're going to cook this bacon for about three minutes until it's crispy and the fat's rendered. As soon as this bacon cooks, we'll be adding the garlic. This is a fresh chopped garlic. We'll cook it for less than a minute. 
Have that ready. I love the way fresh garlic smells. <laughs> I mean, what does not taste good with garlic? Our bacon is crispy now. Going to add our chopped garlic. Oh, the minute that went in, it smelled so good. We're going to cook this for less than a minute. We just want the garlic to soften up. I know by the time this is done, I'm going to be going, why have I not been cooking this my entire life? That smells fabulous. We are going to drain our pasta. It is ready. Before I do that, I'm going to take out about a half a cup of the pasta water. And we will use that to thin our sauce down. Okay, this is heavy. Drain that. We have our pasta drained. You don't have to look to see what we're doing. The garlic and bacon are cooking. We're going to add the pasta to this pan. Toss it for a couple minutes. Oh, hear that sizzle. We're going to get this all tossed so that all of the strands of pasta are coated with the oil. I'm going to mix together two eggs, two raw eggs with our Parmesan, not our Parmesan, our Romano cheese. We're going to get this mixed really well. You want it to be smooth, no big lumps. What we're going to do before we add this to the pan is we will remove the pan from the heat because if you poured this in while it's on the heat, it's actually going to scramble those eggs and you just want this to be nice and uh, smooth and cover all the pasta. I'm going to pour this in. And some of it, oh no, it's not. It's just the cheese. I'm going to stir that's really, really good. This smells so good. Thin out some of this sauce with our pasta water. Oh, that made a huge difference. <laughs> You can actually use all of this, and I'm going to. That pasta water also helps pick up the little pieces of bacon that are on the very bottom of the pan. I'm going to sprinkle some freshly ground black pepper, a little bit of kosher salt, put it in a serving dish, and, very important, you want to have some extra cheese because you have to be able to pass the cheese around the table. Oh, this looks really, really good. Sprinkle it with a little parsley. And for six dollars, you could actually include a salad, some bread, and still keep it under ten dollars. Really easy. Of course, I don't know that I've ever eaten pasta on camera before, so... Fabulous! Oh my God! Oh my God, that is so good. I think this is going to be like one of my new all-time go-to foods. This is so good. It's, um, it's perfect for any time, but it is so good that you could use, uh, you, you could serve this to company. It's that good. Okay, so we are finished with that. Spaghetti carbonara, it was Tyler Florence's recipe that I copied and got it in at $6 for a family of four. But actually, if you look at how much pasta this is, this would actually serve six people easily. Six people for $6, a dollar a person. Oh, can't get a Big Mac for that. So my dress, $6.99 from Goodwill. This little bracelet was $1.99. Already had everything else. Sandals I got last year 
on clearance for, I believe, $10. $6 for carbonara. I did not die from sal salmonella yet. And we will see you next week. Just as fast as she can be.